I did a separate video to show <clears throat> how the Personas Atom works with Ableton Live. This is Studio One, Studio One 4.0 uh, that comes from Personas. And I'm going to show you how this integrates with uh, Studio One just to create a beat. Uh, this could be useful in worship or in any live performance. Um, not only create the beat, but to play along uh, with sublime elements. And so uh, when you have Studio One connected to the Atom, the Personas uh, icon at the top lights up blue. And it shows you that it's connected and uh, talking correctly to each other. And I'm going to show you just a couple of uh, shortcuts with the Atom working with uh, Studio One. I'm going to go in and hit uh, Setup my browser button ready to go. My browser opens up. Browser of instruments on the right. I can toggle up and down. I'm going to insert or select um, Impact XT as my drum kit. I can easily select a kit. Uh, I was playing around with the jazz kit earlier, so I'll do that. Once I do, All of the pads are different instruments or sounds from that kit. Show hide will take off the pad display. I'm going to insert a, uh, a loop, create a loop to edit. Uh, go back to setup and my green button put inserts a pattern. I can adjust the tempo of that pattern just by tapping it out or by dialing down uh, simply with this dial above tempo. You'll see all this on their tutorial videos. Um, then this is actually my editor and I will go into the editor function and you can see all the steps through this measure and the steps are uh, in line with the pads. So I have my beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. So I'm going to come in on the jazz kick and put the kick on beat one and beat Two. I just kept on going. So now I need to set my loop. I can go in and set the set with my shift and play button to set the loop. Double stop sends the uh, cursor back to the beginning. And now I'm set in with a loop. Let's see if we can turn that up any. So I can put that beat anywhere that I want. Toggle down. Maybe add some hi hat. Maybe it's too much. Go back to my kick. Put that anywhere that you want. All right. I'm just moving around sounds, create that uh, loop to sound how you want it to. You can get the loop going, turn the editor off, and now I've just got live play. 